All right, what's up? Still here in New York, Manhattan. Uh, here at Rockefeller Center, it's 30 Rock, the main building there, Rockefeller Center. We're down here below where normally it's what I'd think of as the, the ice skating rink, where they have the, the big Christmas tree up behind all this. I've seen the Christmas tree a couple times. It, it's pretty freaking awesome to see in, uh, in real life, but we're, we're here summertime, so none of that's going on. Uh, I don't think I've ever been here before when this wasn't uh, a skating rink, ice skating. But uh, cool to see, cool to walk down here right now too and get this close to, to the statue. We're gonna head inside and, uh, and go up, check out the observation deck up on top. Uh, as we make our way up there, go, go ahead and uh, if you feel like it, uh, subscribe, like, all that jazz. But we'll, we'll head inside and go upstairs and uh, ride the elevator up to the top. I've never done this one before, never been in Rockefeller Center, 30 Rock. Uh, tons of cool history here, uh, especially my, my favorite history. I mean, you got the Today Show and stuff too, just NBC in general, but uh, Conan O'Brien, you know, he, he was here uh, originally, late night Conan O'Brien, and the freaking you know, whole set studio there for Saturday Night Live. All the people and all the history uh, around Saturday Night Live that's gone on in this building, that's just freaking awesome to, to be in here in that same building. Um, awesome observation deck. I've never been up to it before. Done Empire State Building years and years ago. Uh, Two-ish years ago, did the, the new World Trade Center. And then uh, on this trip, a little while back, we did the Edge, which was cool. But this this one right here, uh, so I don't know it yet, but this one right here is going to end up being at least tied for my favorite. It's tough to beat the, the World Trade Center view, too, but, but this is freaking awesome. Totally outside, once you get up here, uh, killer view, Central Park view, um, Empire State Building view, so it is freaking awesome. Cool elevator ride up here too, that's what we're on now. Doesn't take too long at all to get up here to the top. Come out up here, 67th floor I believe this is. And it goes up several different floors here up the the very top that you can get up to outside here is the 70th floor i think so not the highest observation deck here in new york city but yeah, man it it really may be the coolest the best um just the best overall look and view the others are, are awesome too but dang man this this was a great one Empire State Building there right in the in the dead center. Cool. I mean, you come out here and you first walk out 67th floor. It's kind of like the edge where you got these big glass panes sort of blocking the way. And you can make your way up and, and get away from that too. So it gets, gets better and better as you as you climb, as you go up. Cool, cool. Our Central Park, uh, giant skyscrapers around here. Those are all residential apartment buildings. Real skinny one there. It's real cool looking. It'd be cool to go up in, but it's there's no observation deck or anything there you got to be a, a billionaire to be up in that one one cool uh, uh story about this building 30 rock back in the day when chris farley was here working on saturday night live uh, jay moore and, and david tell they were they were sharing office and farley came in and they both dared him to take a crap out the window for a 100 bucks and uh he you know, Chris Farley, kind of crazy. So he, he took him up on the offer and uh, he got his hundred bucks. He didn't really have to take a crap, but he strained the strain, finally got one little milk dud out and uh, it, it came back in, on landed on Jay Moore's desk. Uh, there was nothing, Chris Farley didn't have anything to wipe with. So he used his hand and, and, and then chased him around the office there. Uh, but they ended up getting in a bunch of trouble because people down below saw chris farley with his hind end hanging out the window they didn't know who it was they thought it was a jumper so the police came they had to file a police report got in a little bit of trouble but uh i'm sure being chris farley that that helped some there too but cool cool story and just tons of other crazier stuff i'm sure has happened here as well but uh just check out that check out that freaking view bunch of wind up here but not not crazy but it's cool to feel we be out in this out in the out in the open a little more
We'll go up another level here in just a second where you are out in the open without these glass panes in front of you. And that's when it gets really, really freaking cool. Um, old building here, observation that the, the building was built in the 30s. Observation deck opened up in 1933. Here, here we are. Now we're up above it all. No glass, just looking straight out. Uh, top of the freaking building, can't get any higher. Uh, this is just freaking awesome. Uh, looking back on it now, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. This is my favorite. Beats, Beats World and World Trade Center, which is freaking awesome too. But this, this one's my favorite. Over World Trade Center, uh, definitely over the edge, and then over Empire State Building. This, this is freaking awesome. Some other cool history from uh, from this building, besides the Saturday Night Live, Chris Farley stuff, and you know other cool stuff too, TV related stuff. But uh, that old picture from back in the day of the, the construction workers sitting on that beam eating their lunch—that was they were building this building. Um, it was known in the, uh, as the RCA building back then. Uh, later it became the GE building. Today it's the Comcast building. I don't know how many people call it that, uh, but uh, that's what it is today. Originally it was the RCA building. That's what they were building when uh, when that picture, that photograph was taken of all those dudes just hanging way up in the air on that beam. Gotta be one of the coolest views ever. City views are cool anyway. Um, all these views around New York City are good, but and then uh, I mean Chicago's got some cool ones with the I think it's the Willis Tower now. It used to be the Sears Tower and the Hancock John Hancock Building. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. And that's actually where Chris Farley died. Um, I got to go up in in that building. Killer view from there because you can see the old Sears Tower, Willis Tower, from uh, from that one. So that's cool, but. That's it. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll wrap this one up, get down below back on the street, and, and we'll head on out of here.